as you can see Samsung NC10 I'm gonna get my USB flash put it into my laptop if you can see that right there now this is it's not gonna be tricky but this is this the next part is gonna be different for every netbook okay you're gonna to want to enter the setup and basically when you turn it on you'll usually see something at the bot you'll see a, you'll see a logo flash up on my one it says Samsung and then at the bottom it'll say press F2 F9 F11 one of those uh, keys or maybe maybe even a different key it'll say press that so I might as well show you now this is how you would do it on a Samsung NC10 hit oh my one says F4 but I just hit F2 I don't know wherever you want to go into that want to go to your boot then you want to go to boot device priority right here hit enter as you can see at the top of mine is USB key then USB CD then USB hard drive then other USB then all the way at the bottom is my actual the hard drive on this laptop okay and at the bottom it will say what you need to do to change them or on the side but I'm just gonna leave it like this for now there are many other tutorials on the internet to, sh to show you exactly for your netbook if you can't figure out how to change the boot order All right, I'm gonna go save and exit now it should restart as you can see there's this little thing up in the corner it's loading okay now you're gonna see a couple of options you'll see your hard drive maybe if you have Windows XP installed on there you'll see that <coughs> excuse me but you just wanna enter basically this is a bootloader but this bootloader is running off your USB at the moment you want to go to Mac OS X install DVD and then you want to wait for that to load okay this setup is going to take some time to load so I'm just going to time lapse it okay as you can see we have the Mac OS X install so if you're going to use English as the main language just hit next and then hit continue agree and it's very simple you go to utilities disk utilities again and this time you're going to want to format your hard drive uh, you can try to partition it and then install Windows XP later but this is I'm just going I'm going to leave you here um, so this is my main hard drive and I have Mac OS X extended journal on untitled partition number one and on number two I just have an MS DOS FAT32 partition so once you've done that hit close once you formatted it properly, to, you format it to Mac OS X Extended Journaled. Okay, as you can see, the FAT one has a little warning sign on it. it says it can't be installed on this, but the OS X Extended Journaled formatted one can. So you hit, I mean, you can try and hit customize. But there's not really you need. There's not much they need to do. You just need to hit install and then it should install it with all the network properties uh, this is just a little customized menu that you can change what you really want but that's about it once you have it done I'm just gonna turn off my laptop and show you that Mac OS X will boot on a netbook turn it on um, by the way the The Mac 
OSX Snow Leopard will cost you around £20. I bought mine from Kex, which is a cash exchange store in the UK. And that's about it. I mean, you saw the bootloader right there. There was a little option. It booted straight into Drive Untitled 1, but if you use your arrow keys, it will show you more options. As you can see, it's like less than a minute to boot. And there you go, that's all it is. I'll go help. I mean, my bad. Go to the little Apple logo. System preferences. Whoops, hit the wrong one. Apple logo. About this Mac. Zoom in on this. Just so you can see it. As you can see, Mac OS X uh, version 10.6.3, and it's running on a 1.6 uh, gigahertz Intel Atom processor, but it's unknown. And I have two gigabytes of RAM installed, and it shows the startup disk to be Untitled One. So thank you for watching. Please rate. Well, when I say rate, do a thumbs up. Mm, can I get? Yeah, thumbs up. Uh, subscribe and please just feel free to send me a message or a comment uh, I read all of them so if you want me to show you what else to do if you want me to make a tutorial for you just request it and I should get around to it so yeah that's it uh, if, yeah if you have any problems with this uh, tutorial message me on YouTube but that's about it thanks for watching please follow this guide and recommend it to your friends.